How to create games like Mortal Kombat in Unity. First of all, we need some characters and animations, which are accessible in Mixamo website. How to do it? The tutorial is already in the channel. For now, we need punching and idle animation for a character. Also, idle and hit animation for another character. Search and choose desired characters and animations, then bring them to Unity. I extract the materials in fast mode. I had prepared a 3D environment before. The characters are going to face each other in it. Bring first and second characters and set their angle and dimensions. Let's animate the characters. If you click this arrow on FBX file and select an animation, you'll see all options are inactive and the animation is read only. To make it editable, take a copy from it with Ctrl D. Do the same for all of your character animations. This step is done. Let's give each animation to its related character. Select first character and create an animation for it in animation window. Now in animator window, you can see created animation. Remove it, cause we don't need it. Instead of it, bring two character related animations in animator. I mean, punching an idle. Easiest way to switch between these two animations is to add a trigger called punch by pressing this plus. Now make a transition between punch and idle. And only set its exit time to zero and uncheck it. Then click this plus. Also draw a transition from punch to idle. It's going to automatically switch to idle after punch animation played completely. So don't change transition and exit time for now. Before play, don't forget to enable loop time for animations that are going to play continuously. Now, if you press play from animation window, character idle animation plays. If we activate punch trigger, character points and comes back to its idle state. If you wanted to change switch speed of animations, you can do it by changing transition duration or moving this sign. Look, as the duration decreases, the speed of switch increases. This character is almost suitable. Let's move on to another character. Select second character, create a new animation for it, remove created animation clip in animator. And again like previous character, bring related animations to animator which are idle and hit animation. Now if we go to animation window, we can see idle and hit animations. Again, like before, define a trigger called HIT. And the same as stuff on these transitions. Here is the final result. By enabling HIT trigger, character animation changes from idle to HIT. Now if you wanna by pressing a button, right character points and left character gets HIT. Create a script called attack and give it to the right player which is going to be your player. We have two players in a script. In update void, we detect a space button that when we press it, do attack void executes. In do attack void, punch animation of first player plays. And in take damage void, hit animation of second player plays. Now we want when character points, take damage void runs, somehow that hit animation of left player plays. Here we should use event trigger. For this, select right side character, then go to punch animation. Select a frame that in its player's punch is going towards another player. And click this option, means add event. Now by clicking on event, 
from up here, from attack script, select take damage void. Now if character points, any command that we wrote in take damage void runs. Let's test. By pressing a space button, player points, and another player takes damage. Now we need to add a code. If two characters were close to each other and punch animation played, hit animation plays. To detect the distance, use this code, which we saw it before. With distance, we measure the distance between first and second player, and if it was less than two, hit animation of character plays. Let's test. If character points from far, nothing happens, but if the distance becomes less than two, the opponent character gets hit. Now if you want it after punch, the character loses health or something else happens, write the desired commands here. I hope you guys like this video. With this method, you can enter any character with any animation to your game. Thanks for watching, have a nice day. Wait a bit, if you wanna add particle or health for to character, don't miss next part and don't forget to like and subscribe, we leave with that.